What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, I haven't posted a video for a while, I've been extremely busy. Uh, but I want to get going on making these videos for the new gun room. Uh, I've got it pretty much done. I've been working on it and family stuff and working on our property. So I've been really busy, haven't had much time to make a video. Uh, but I want to do like kind of a little couple video series on putting together this gun room. Uh, so this first part, I'm going to show you the spare bedroom that we had, us cleaning it out. I got a few time lapses to throw in, us cleaning it out and bringing the benches in, building the benches, getting them set up. And then in the second video, I'll show you the plywood that I put up above the bench, hanging those inline fabrication panels, and installing the gun wall. Um, and then third video, I'll do a complete walkthrough, show you everything in the gun room, and let me know if you guys like it. Uh, if you like stuff like this, hit that subscribe button so you can see when I post new videos. A thumbs up button really helps, and let's jump into it. We had a spare bedroom in our basement that was just chuck full of luggage, old Christmas decorations, furniture that we don't use anymore uh, so I decided to clean it out and turn it into the new gun room so we got everything cleaned out and ready to start building the bench and moving some of the stuff from the original gun room into this new gun room now I did want to make sure that I didn't modify this room so much that it would take a lot to turn back into a bedroom if we ever needed it or decided to sell the house so I wanted to make sure that we didn't do too much permanent damage, um, that we couldn't swap it back if we needed to. So this is the original bench I had in my other gun room. I had to modify it a little bit. The one side I had to cut down so it would fit on this wall. And then I also had to drop that bottom shelf down a little bit so it was underneath those outlets that are in the room and not right over the top of them. Now this bench, when I originally built it, I put some adjusting feet underneath those legs, which worked out great because I bought this new toolbox to sit in the middle of the two bench sections and it allowed me to adjust up and down so it was a perfectly flat surface between the toolbox and the bench top. Once I got this bench section adjusted and installed, we moved on to the next bench section and this one I built from scratch. I'm no woodworker by trade or anything like that, so I made do, but I did want to make sure that it was tight so I didn't have a big gap between the bench sections and that toolbox that's right in the middle. Uh, as you can see, this was a full family affair, got my kids and 
and my wife helping me. But all in all, this thing turned out. I built this side very similar to the other side. I uh, used carriage bolts on the legs with the adjusting screws on the bottom so that I could just adjust it if I needed to. Uh, and then use the butcher block top, which matches the top of that toolbox spot on. Once I got the benches and stuff installed, I did use some one by two, kind of as a small backsplash, and I ran it down the lengths of all the walls, right across the top of the toolbox, so you don't get those little pin things rolling off the back of the bench or getting stuck in the crack. So I ran that across the back, and then as you can see on the sides of the toolbox, there's some outlets that are down low. I wanted to extend them up above the bench so I could have some power outlets above the bench. So that's what I'm doing here. Just cut some holes and put double gang boxes in, in two spots, so I could tap into those outlets that are down low and run them up above so I have power up above the bench. Once I got everything installed, I masked off everything and used some urethane on the, t on the butcher block tops, the backsplash, and the shelf down below. Like I said before, you can tell this is a family affair. Everyone was helping out. Uh, my little girl is constantly wanting to help and wanting to be in the middle of everything. Um, but I'm grateful to them for helping me out because it makes projects like this a lot more enjoyable. Uh, when they're around. So that's the first video. Getting things going, getting things laid out how I want the bench and everything like that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see these other videos when I get them done and wrapped up. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll check you guys on the next one.